lot of people do it. Right. And you, your studio is kind of remote, isn't it? Out in the country? Uh, it's not uh, in Israel, there is nothing uh, remote. Oh, yes. okay. So close, it's so small, so. But it's, it's in the countryside, it's nice. It's between Tel Aviv and Jerusalem, half, halfway. Were you able to get a lot of work done of your yes. own? Yes. Yeah. I think everybody's been like that, but I think I've, I've just started running classes again. I have, um, I had an in-person class last week and I have one starting tomorrow and uh, they're not big because we still have people that are a little afraid to travel, but I think everybody's getting ready. Yeah, yeah. In, in Israel, it's like everyone starts to be very optimistic. Uh, from today, we don't need to wear masks anymore uh, in the open spaces. Like, uh, you don't need the... Uh, so, it will come, it will grow, I think. Were they, did they do a good job with the vaccines there? Yes, yes, yes. Everything is open, everything starts to come back and no need for masks. Well, that's a good thing. Well, we have 80 people already. I think there were 150 people who signed up on Eventbrite and about 80 people or 90 who signed up on my website. And then there were people who have been participants of other um, coffees that have the link and they just sign in. And then, so there's, there's a lot. Everybody wants to see you. <laughs> Where are you? You are at home? I'm at home. I'm at home. I've got to go to the studio this afternoon to um, um, get ready for Gaselli coming. Hi, Yirit. Hi. Hi. <laughs> oh, Monica. Oh. Hello, everyone. <laughs> I miss oh, yeah, everyone is here. <laughs> Good morning. Uh, Hi, Dorothy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, everybody, you're going to see everybody here. Probably everybody yeah. taking your classes before, waiting to see what's happening. Waiting to see. Waiting to see, waiting to see. So, Ludmilla, <laughs> have you got your baby with you today? Yeah, but uh, it's with the, the sister and the father. So, oh. I will take a coffee with you. Please. <laughs> we did it <laughs> with all. <laughs> if you don't know uh, Ludmilla, Ludmilla is uh, my assistant. And she's coming with, with me to many places. Uh, She's the best assistant. <laughs> and uh, the, our last uh, trip was to Australia. And uh, also uh, Monica was with us and uh, Suzanne. And uh, so all of them know Ludmilla. <laughs> yeah. And it's very fun to be with Ludmilla. Uh, and we just too. have a baby just uh, in a... A week ago? Two weeks. Two weeks ago, she, she had a baby, a, a newborn. Wow. And it Surprise. Really helps. Congratulations. It really helps. <laughs> <laughs> it really helps to have a good assistant. Yeah. 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 <laughs> I'm happy to have Edith. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm by myself in the studio right now, and I'll tell you what, I, I'm cleaning up after the workshop from last week. I was exhausted yesterday. 
<laughs> now I have to go back in today and finish up for to get ready for tomorrow. And it's a lot of preparation and getting things ready. Yeah, sure. Well, I guess we can get started and we'll keep admitting people as they come in. Um, good morning, everybody, and thanks for joining us. We're live from Israel this morning with Yuri. Um, and uh, we'll have a lot of people who's going to keep coming in. If you have any questions, you can enter them in the chat area and we'll come back in and get them. I'll watch. It might be hard for me to see if you have a raised hand. At the end, I'll open it up live and um, we'll let you we'll let you just kind of shout it out. The um, chat is disabled now, just so you. It is. Yes. It shouldn't be. I'm showing all these people in chat. I don't know why it would be disabled. Oh, can you? It's just the chat that's disabled. Oh, OK. All right, well, then we'll have to, um, if you have a question, you will have to ask out loud. So we'll get started and we'll ask Yuri to tell us a little bit about your creative journey and how you got to becoming an echo printer uh, superstar. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, actually. It just happened like this. But... Um... Like I was a graphic designer in my uh, studies. And then um, I have my uh, kids and family. So I uh, quit everything for a few years. I was only a, a mother. And uh, while I was with my kids at home, I started to walk and um, I, I was a filter for many years I did felt and then later I um, I went to a workshop in Italy uh, with the uh, Claudia Youngstrom you know who is Claudia Youngstrom she is like the most uh, famous felter in the world so I took a workshop with her and part of the workshop was a uh, natural dyes uh, just uh, not, not very professional, just kind of introduction. So when I came back home, I find myself dying and not felting. So this was the beginning. And then I, um, I, I found out about India Flint and uh, of course I went, it was like it, very in the beginning of the, no, it was like very, very small group of people who practice uh, botanical print. And um, I start, start to practice and the rest is history, I don't know. Like, the rest uh, is history. Yeah. <laughs> so tell us a little bit about um, your, you've done a lot during COVID. Um, just a little bit about what you've been doing during COVID in Israel. Um, actually, um, we, I make the I made the um, a video um, a class, and this uh, this was um, was already in my mind for uh, two years before the COVID. I was uh, writing the script, and uh, we even uh, photo shoot uh, two years before, like two days, and. Uh, we only learn what not to do. But I was all, all the time in this. And then when the COVID came, it was like, okay, it's, it's need to be now because 
I could go on and on and, and doubt myself and not be sure if this is good or this is uh, not good. So the COVID came and we said uh, we are doing it now. And, and, and um, I decided to make um, uh, not what I meant in the beginning, um, but a different technique, which is like a more specific technique, the monochromatic technique. Um, and now we, we are doing the, the course that I intend to do all the time. It's a very big one. So I make all the samples and uh, uh, we decided to get into the smallest resolution that we can do, like uh, to show what to do and to show what not to do. Like to, to, to show everything, every little detail. So um, it's take a lot of work. Uh, to write uh, the script in the beginning, then to make all the necessary samples, then to a uh, photo shoot, to film this. It took us 20 days to film the... And uh, Idan is uh, editing it and I'm writing it on the edit and it's, it's a creation but it, by itself I really enjoy to make it to make it it's a uh, it's really nice because it's a um, it's a creation this is how I uh, I feel about these uh, classes they are creation they are coming to us to teach of course but also to inspire and uh, so uh, this is what we are uh, doing during this uh, COVID, uh, since COVID. I think the video, I saw the first video, it was excellent. I think your husband did a great job putting it together and editing. I wish I had a producer that could do this for me. Um, he, I know you're working on a new one and um, if you can, at some point, if you'd like to share the promo for it, we'd love to see that. Yes, I have something very short. We didn't have time to prepare a, a long one, but just to give you a... So um, how do you keep yourself motivated during all of this? I know you've been busy doing the videos, but did you find yourself going into a little bit of a creative slump? When the first COVID first it's, it's, uh, it's for me, it's all connected uh, because uh, I needed to, I needed to, you know, you, you need to be creative. You need to create a lot of work to, to, to make this, uh, make this video. I, I, I don't have a lot of opportunities in Israel and uh, to, to make shows or uh, galleries that present. It's not like the US or Australia. We are very, very small and most of the galleries are like fine art galleries. So my creativity go into these kind of channels. So if I need to uh, make uh, pieces, so we then will uh, film it and uh, it will be a very inspiring. Uh, so this is what this is the the way I find my channel to create. Do you have any other things that you do, creative channels besides printing? Yes, I'm I'm uh, working on my sewing machine. <laughs> <laughs> like so you're, a piano. <laughs> you're, you're working on your sewing machine. Are you, are you making things out of your prints? Yeah, yes, yes. I'm making a... I'm, I'm working a, with the sewing machine, like a, really like a piano. It's like, I, I'm not a sewer. I don't know a, a pattern making, and but I'm, I'm just make you make you make yeah. <laughs> yeah. so when you get started before you start printing 
Um, Sorry? When you, when you start your printing projects, is it a surprise to you when you open it up every time? Do you still get that surprise or are you pretty sure about how your pieces are gonna come out? Um, it surprised me. It's, yeah, it's, I, it still surprised me. I, I can't say I have a 100% control. Always there is some surprises uh, coming. Uh, you can't control it. Uh, you can't control it, no matter. No, but you, you can you can get any. You can have idea what to expect, but then surprises always coming. So if you were gonna talk, I know you, you probably have missed seeing all the students. Um, if you had the most valuable tip you could give to printers who are just getting started, what would be the one tip you could give them Walk small, <laughs> make samples, learn the material, learn what you are dealing with. Before want to make big pieces, before want, uh, want to make garments. Uh, this is something also I'm trying all the time in my classes to convince my students just Wait a little bit before you fantasize about a dress or big pieces. You have to, to learn what you are dealing with. And then it's, it's guarantee your um, results much, uh, much more like. Yeah, I think a lot of times in classes, you know, people want to come and make something. They want to take something home. So when you try to get them to just make samples, they're like, what, just make samples, you know? I, I wanna make something, I wanna make scarves. I wanna take pieces home that I can sell in my booth. And they don't realize that you need to just make samples and compare and compare. <coughs> how do you, how many samples do you think you make in the run of a, a week? Probably a lot. You probably just make samples and samples of the same thing with different. I'm making. <clears throat> I have uh, in this uh, <laughs> in this new um, video course. I, I I'm going to present my uh, library. Mm. I have a huge library of plants, of the prints, of of plants from all over the world. So I usually start like this. Uh, I'm making, um, I'm trying, I'm not trying to be creative. I'm trying the plants. So I know what to expect from them. Sometimes I'm try them more than one uh, or from different places or from different seasons to see, to understand them more, more. And I collect them and I have, it's, it's a huge uh, library of, uh, and I, I love it. This, <laughs> all these little pieces with, uh, I just love it. And many of my students know part of it because I'm taking it with me to the- It's, it's beautiful, the library. We love it. <laughs> Do you have a typical day? Do you go to your studio every day? Um depend. Depend on the period. Sometimes yes, sometimes less. It depends. What about um favorite uh dyes to work with? F favorite dyes? Dyes, yeah. yeah my mother is my dye. Mm. Yeah, always. It's my yeah, I... my favorite dye. If you were talking, if somebody was just getting started, um, what what dye would you tell them to start out with? I know in your classes we typically just used weld and matter and logwood. Um, 
There were other ones too. What well, is my... Chestnut? No, uh, weld is my second uh, favorite yeah. uh, dye, and it's not so challenging like mother. Mm. So, to start with this. So, why do you think most people have the biggest problem with matter? You get beautiful reds, and it, I know if you get it too hot, it'll it'll turn brown. But yeah, you need to. The biggest you need challenge. To know is, what to do and you need to use a good quality and uh, you need to use enough uh, dye uh, to get a nice uh, nice red color so where do you get your inspiration i think from the material themselves like the shape of the, of the leaves, they can take me to Japan or they can take me to um, South America in, in, in spirit. And then I try to see what, what they are saying and try to design in this, uh, in this um, spirit. I know that um, when you were traveling all over and going all over the world, everybody has different leaves in their area. Um, and I guess sometimes, some, so are some areas more of a challenge to find leaves that will print compared to others? No. No. It's uh, like, Every place has its own um, special uh, special plants, but uh, they, they are um, you can divide them to 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 groups. So if you have a tiny leaves that are rich in tannin, you will find uh, them in uh, Israel or Australia, and you can find other leaves, not the same one, but other leaves that are turning rich in uh, Europe or North America. But you know how to work with them because they are turning rich leaves. Or same with acids. Um, so you have different, but you, you can recognize what the organic uh, substances in them. And this is not like a, a huge uh, uh, option, options like the, 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 the leaves and the plant are very, there is so many, but the organic substances are more or less the same. Uh, and there is no many that will affect give you this effect or this effect and you can just put these leaves into groups and doesn't matter where you are uh, uh, you will manage with them that's 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 a good thing because so people always ask me you know what kind of leaves do you have in florida and we have this in North Carolina and so, I mean, different areas of the United States even have different leaves everywhere. So it makes it, you know, sometimes people bring leaves with them and, and then they want to print with what they have. But I think it's a good idea to print with where you are so you can make a history of what, you know, what you're doing in each individual area. Um, so maybe kind of give us an idea of um, your your new video, what you have going, um, and what type type of things that that video is going to cover in. Uh, so uh, the next class will is a, it's really a big class, and I'm going to cover. Um, the, the way I make mordant, when I, I already uh, teach it in the, the previous uh, video class, but right now 
I will give three different uh, concentrations of Mordan. So it will give three different um, results. And I will uh, present my, uh, my uh, library, uh, plant library, and um, divide the, the plants to different groups. So um, it's very easy to analyze the plants according to these groups. And um, we will, I will cover different tannins and the colors from different tannins and how to uh, extract um, tannin from uh, plants that you can gather around and how to work with the extract. And uh, four different uh, bundles um, um, with a background, without a background. Uh, I can show some, uh, I can show a little uh, video from the new class. That would be great. Done, yes, it's very short. It done just uh, did it uh, this morning for, for now. And then I can show you some samples of uh, prints uh, that the class will, if, this is what you will achieve in this class. Uh, so I, I will put the, the video. Okay. No, now it's a, uh, oh. oh. Okay. Okay, it was <laughs> short. <laughs> Sorry, but it's it takes so much time, and uh, this is and, what he, um, he. When will that class be open for registration? Sorry. When will that class be open for registration? Uh, I hope uh, next month. I hope, because it's so much work and we don't want to do it before we really can commit of the launching day. So until we don't uh, very sure that we can, uh, we can launch, uh, we will not op like yes. <laughs> That's good. You're, you're saying, because every every month I'm saying next month, next month, but it's it's a huge project. So just the editing part. I mean, once you do something, just getting all the editing done must take forever to get it to flow so nicely. Um, I did I did do your first your your video, and I really thought it was well done. I myself was very afraid to move into video. You know, where you remember, I, I laugh all the time because when, remember when we talked about doing the Zoom, um, when you came to my studio last and we, and it was all new and we didn't know anything about it. And now everybody's just doing video on everything. And it, it's just evolved into something um, really different. Excuse yeah. me, Suzanne. Yes. Did anybody see the uh, uh, Eric's video? Uh, mine never came up. All we saw was MP3 and that's it. We didn't see any video at all. Uh, no? No, no, no. We couldn't I don't know there. if it opened completely. Uh, we, we, we couldn't I, I, I will uh, put it again. I will yes. try. And... Uh... The music plays. Mm. 
Maybe it's coming up on a different screen. Eric, can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. I think you need to you need to be looking at the video and then do a share screen once you have do a share screen. Once the video has started, are you hitting share screen? Are you hitting share screen and then starting? Yes, videos? yes, I'm doing share screen. I can't, I don't know then. Sorry. It's a, my husband is uh, texting me about, uh, he also uh, watching us. So uh, he said that something is not. Aha, uh -huh. now it's working. There you go. No, no, this is the samples. They're beautiful. The, can you see the pictures? Yeah. Just one. Just my done. רגע, אני עושה share screen, ואז מה אני, מה זה החלום שמראה לי? אז אני לא יודעת מה זה. לא, אני לא רואה את זה. Should we find them? Okay, as any water to move on. Huh? Okay, how to do it? I think it's super. So you know that there's a border at the top. Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah. Did you see it now? No, no. No? So I'm sorry, I don't know. I, I, will, I will upload it uh, to, to my uh, Instagram. Or so. Idan is trying to help me, but I, just I don't know what him. I'm doing wrong. I just admitted him to the thing, so maybe he can share also. See, it's good to have a person. Can you see it? I can't see it. I can't see it. I can't see it. But I'm going to show you the finder. You have to be there in the room. 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 Yes, in the room. Yes, in the room. Okay. And what? You have to be open. ב-VLC. Open? כן. Open file. כן. תלכי לדסקטופ. כן. את רואה את התיקייה שיש שם, את התיקייה שהכנתי לך עם ה-Zoom meeting? כן. יש שם את הסרט? פרומו אחד ניו? כן. כן, תלחצי עליו דאבל קליק. אוקיי. לא. לא יודע למה הוא לא מראה את זה. טוב. לא ברור. Okay, I'm sorry. I, I can't... Uh...
Uh, but I can I can show you. Let's see if uh, now you see my screen. Oh yes. Yeah. Yes. 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 <clears throat> okay. So. Uh, uh, At least I can show you some uh, steps of uh, what could be achieved. Uh, in I this, think you uh, could play it now. I think you could press the play. I think it will work now. Because yeah, this is a slideshow. It's not a video. Right. Uh, but it, OK. No. Ah, uh, yeah. It's, uh, Beautiful, mm. beautiful, lady. Beautiful. <laughs> so, uh, as you see, you can achieve um, prints on, on the natural uh, background of the fabric and the color background. And um, beautiful. Suzanne? Yes. Um, Irid, are you working on cellulose or, or uh, protein as well? I'm working also on protein. Uh, here you can see also uh, some silk. Yeah. Uh, I, I prefer a cellulose. I <laughs> like the, I like more, I don't like the luxury of the of the silk, but um, I I don't have like I walk sometimes with the silk, and wool is another uh, story for me, totally different story, and I, I like to walk with wool. Yeah, uh, silk is is the is the I don't like silk so much. Hmm. Why? Because it's 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 too fancy. It's very luxury. It's uh, yeah. yeah. I, I I like more this more the style that will be more simple, more casual, more. Um, yeah. And uh, I I like pea silk a lot. There is a beautiful pea silk that it's silk, but it's look it doesn't look so. Uh, Silky. Shiny yeah. and uh, so peace silk I, I like. What, what is that? How do you spell that? Peace, like oh, peace. peace silk. Okay. Yeah, yeah. All the silk that are not from uh, mulberry uh, uh, silk uh, worms, but different worms and uh, like cardi silk. It's beautiful. I think I have here. Um, why I can't. That looks like a, is that a silk, that piece right there? No, this is not. This is, this is a, for example, it's a noil, knitted the noil silk. Mm -hmm. This one. And this is a, the the half, upper uh, it's a uh, muga silk. When you have a colored background, do you color the is a background done first or at the same time? As no, it's the same time. It's uh, it's made in the same time. So the 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 when I use natural dyes, I color them first, but. Uh, when I print and create a background, it's there's made in the first time. Really in, in the... There's like one light over is not muted? <laughs> I think Dan. I think piece, it's Dan. The piece you have showing right now, the background is very, very clear on that. Yes. It's beautiful. <clears throat> I don't know if, if you see all the, uh, maybe I will just say. Uh, oh, beautiful. 
Well, you, yeah. have, you can see here the, the, the background is re really clean and white and not. Uh, yeah, that's what we did yesterday. We just kind of left the room. Hear it? Yes? Yes, this is Annette. Hello. <laughs> Um, I noticed you you mentioned that the background is very uh, clean and or white. So this is a different method than you um, taught us in France. Yes. 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 Um, uh, um, in this in this uh, class in this coming video class, I will teach what I I taught in uh, France, and additional with the uh, the white. Uh, background like this new um, all the theory that coming in front are um, good for these two different techniques so that's why i decided to make it in one uh, class and not to divide it to two different classes wonderful thank you i'm there <laughs> i'll be there and uh, this is a um, and and also I I will I'm giving a two different uh, three sorry three different uh, modern recipes and uh, I also teach uh, which kind of leaves will will be good for each kind of uh, of the recipe. Um, uh, yes, you can um, achieve uh, something like this and something like this, which are totally different. Uh, this is the three different uh, recipes. Wow. Uh, this is also something uh, can be achieved from different uh, recipes in the modern, uh, that's uh, more related to the background. Are you keeping any in-person classes coming up? Uh, yes, but uh, it all depends what will be the regulation in Europe. So, because I supposed to go to the Netherlands, to France, and to Italy. Um, in the end, starting the end of August towards September, but we don't know yet if it's a, uh, I, I vaccine, I, I got all my, the vaccine, so I, in Europe, they're still asking, asking to be in a quarantine, even if you are vaccinated. So if they not cancel this, so I will not go. But if they uh, will, I will, I really want, I really miss the classes. What about in the United States? Any possibilities there? Uh, Suzanne and me, uh, we, we, I think it's time to start working on this again. Yeah, I uh, think so. So we, we will try to do something. It involves all kind of bureaucracy, difficult bureaucracy, but we will try. And um, can you tell me again the name of the uh, felter in Italy? I didn't get that. She is not uh, Italian. The workshop was in Italy. She is Dutch. Ah, okay. Uh, and uh, her name is uh, Claudi Youngstra. Okay. Ah, Dory, I see you. <laughs> yeah. Is it possible to see some more of these slides, please, Eret? They look wonderful. Yeah, yeah, oh, you're playing. I'm, Thank I'm you. A, I'm a... Eret, can I ask a question? Yeah, sure. Um, and I'm not asking you to divulge proprietary information here, but I'm just curious. On some of the slides that you're showing, it looks like you might be using uh, different dips with certain leaves. So, you know, maybe some leaves are being dipped in ferrous and other leaves are being dipped in potassium no. aluminum. No, that is not the case. No, no, it's okay. all in the mordant. It's all in the mordant, okay. Yes, I have three different uh, recipes mm -hmm. and uh, that's it. And uh... 
Okay. I'm not dipping leaves and uh, I'm doing it only on wool when I walk. Oh. Wool. <clears throat> I, 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 um, unless Idan uh, will show up because he just went uh, somewhere and he has to come back. So I will uh, upload this video to, the, to my Instagram so you can see it. I'm sorry because he, he worked on it all day to prepare it and I don't know what is uh, happening. Oh, that's okay. This is, this is, uh, Zoom in itself is an experience. You just, <laughs> what's going to happen with it? Yeah, sure. <laughs> I actually started one of these in uh, one class that was a live class and my internet went out two minutes after I started. So you never know what's going to happen when, once you sign up. Yeah, yeah, and I, I don't have a lot of experience with this, to be honest. I'm like, I'm very much depend on uh, Idan and my son with technology. I, I'm not good in, with the technology. Yeah, sometimes oh, uh, I ask if... the kids, they know more than I do. Of course. Your children know more than I do. Did you have home, do homeschooling for your kids? Were we, sorry? Were you doing homeschool for your children? Homeschool? Yeah. Were you my, my son is, uh, is in the army. Okay. Almost finished. In August, he is done. And my daughter was, uh, now, that, now they go back to school. That's good. But she was in Zoom uh, all this year. <laughs> so does anybody else have any questions for you, Reet? And this has been a wonderful meeting with her and showing us some of her videos. Um, I can't see your hand raised. So if you do have a question, just kind of turn your mic on and ask it. Yeah, you must Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> Nice to see you. In uh, to see. Hi. Hi. <laughs> Hi, Ibu Irit. <laughs> I'm very glad to see you. Me too. Oh my God, you are just inspiring woman for us. I'm very happy to be your student, and I want to try to enter to your next class. Mm, me too. And I hope you come to my country, of course. <laughs> I hope so too, <laughs> one day when it will be possible. Yes. Uh, I have something to ask about uh, how you can get the inspiration for your botanical prints. I mean, like me, uh, you is my inspiration. And how about you? Who is your inspiration in your botanical print? Suzanne asked me this and I, I said that, you know, a lot mm -hmm. is in the, in the shapes that of, of plants, in the plants themselves. Uh, this is where I get the inspiration. Um, something, you know, sometimes I'm going to a class, every, ta every time something new happened in the classes. And um, somebody bring uh, some plants, he doesn't know what uh, they will give and he start to walk. And I, I see all kinds of potential. Like when I taught uh, with Suzanne, I uh, discovered the Virginia creeper <laughs> <laughs> and also the Antigonon. Like, <laughs> Both I have here in Israel and I never tried them. But when I was in Florida, somebody brought them to the class and I and I, I saw the, the potential. So I came back, I, I start to play with them, and then immediately they become uh, like um, the season plants uh, in Echo Print. 
Yeah? Yes, you are right. You remember, <laughs> Suzanne? Yes. <laughs> and also, like uh, this, uh, the, the red uh, anti antigonon. You yes. know, sometimes mistakes happen, and you you just uh, you need to <laughs> to to be sensitive enough to see them. You know, to see yeah. the mistake, to see something that you didn't expect, and uh, for for the uh, the red antigonon, uh, for example, I will I will share it this with the. You, you see all this red ear? It's, there, there is a, a plant, it's called antigonon, and usually it gives um, um, this uh, uh, print kind of yellow, but when it's become dry, it's, it's become red. Yes, you are right. <laughs> so, it's, it's happened by mistake, and then I, you know, I just find it. Uh, so you need to be, to, to see this little thing that happened and... Uh, be open. Yeah, so I'm sorry, Dan is uh, just uh, come, enter, so he can uh, put the video. <laughs> okay? I actually hope so. I and I see a couple people's hand raised, and I'll get to them in just a second after at least. Thank you so much, Ibu Irit, for your explanation. You're welcome. You're welcome. So we, I, I will continue uh, answering so questions, but let's say. Uh... Ah. Oh. <laughs> so, uh, do you see it now? No, no. it's no? not. It's not playing. It, it's not playing, but we do see you read. Well, just one more. Sorry. I think there that it's in a window that's underneath the window that you see and and maybe to not unshare the screen yeah, open did, it I to the right place. It. I it. Um... can you choose which tab you're sharing because i think that's what's important here is to not share this tab which is where the yeah, file yeah, is held yeah, but yeah, share the yeah. file the tab where it's playing like the lady said That's looking hopeful. We can That's see looking it. hopeful. You can see something here? Yes, we see it. Yes. We okay, see it. Right. Okay. <laughs> so just Great. Wow. That's beautiful. Yeah. <laughs> All right. <laughs> That's really That's beautiful. Really and I, it's really. I saw a lot of gravilla there. Yes. 
my my neighbor just cut a tree down so i now have bags of it in my freezer at the studio because when they cut the tree down i went out to the road and just started all off i see lisa's had her hand raised lisa can you hear us okay can you hear me Okay. Yes, I, All right. Well, hi, Suzanne and Arit. <laughs> Good to see you. Um, I just got the range of colors you are showing are so spectacular. When there's a color in the background, is that all from um, a, like a mordant blanket rather than a dye blanket? Or are you doing a mix of some dye blankets and some um, like tannin or iron blankets? No, I'm doing tannin blankets. Okay. All right, so all the different grays and browns are just from either tannin or- Yeah, greens and uh, yes, yes. Great, all right, thank you. It's spectacular. It's great to see so much more of your work. <laughs> Thanks. The other one is, is it R-A, A-R-A-E? Oh, Masu? Yes. Yes. Is that Masu? A R A E R. Actually, my name is Masrur. Okay. <laughs> this is uh, my business name. <laughs> okay, somebody has their hand up. And okay, I, I your name is spelled A R A E. Yes, this is me. Uh, maybe oh, this is uh, the remind, the remind my uh, race and hub because I'm finishing the asking. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> uh, you have to put your hand down under um, reaction. Wyatt, Wyatt, maybe I have to put it That's down. That's okay. <clears throat> okay, Does thank you. you. Thank you for reminding me. Oh, okay. Does anybody else have any questions? Yes. All right. This is uh, Sophia. Um, it's good to see you. Um, I am really, I really like the idea of not using the iron sulfate for dipping the leaves um, and that your, your, your leaf uh, print is so clear just with mordants. Um, I'm really, I'm looking forward to your video for that. Thank you very much. I also use iron sulfate. Okay. In the mordants. Oh, okay but not dipping the, the leaves. Good, thank you. The, this, this process has evolved so much. I mean, I remember, remember when we just dipped our leaves in the iron and laid them down and it was pretty much, we didn't, it's just all evolved so much. And I think it just keeps growing and growing. You know, do you, do you have a, um, Anything you want to do in the future that you haven't done yet? I don't know yet. You don't know yet? No, no. <laughs> you know, things are coming. I, I'm like open and things are coming. And when I, I feel something, I, I go after it. And like this uh, modern uh, concentration uh, method that I'm doing, um it's also it start with well, I, I saw something like very not significant uh, and it's it, it's evolved to to what it is today I don't know if my student know what I'm talking about with the modern but yeah. Yeah. so, Sometimes, you know, uh, you can't plan. You, you, you have to, especially in this, you have to see what come to you. And uh, <coughs> to have like sharp um, pushing senses to, to know. When do you do, you sometimes just keep trying things and then if you get discouraged, just keep working on it until you get it right? Yeah. Or do you, you know, is there a point when you, when you just realize something's not going to work? Um, or do you just keep working on it until it does work? 
You mean about a, a piece or a piece, or... a sample? No, it's need to walk in the first time. Mm -hmm. And then I have a question myself because I was really loving those um, flumes that you were using in some of your work with, with the, the fuzzy black that came out dark. Are those just the flumes that you, you see in the side of the road in grasses? The plumes with the, the little... Ah, yeah, it's... Um... They are not black, they are kind of bluish. Yes? Um, yeah. Yeah. But just um, in, in grasses that you see everywhere? Or in Israel, a... yes. In Israel, you, they are very uh, common. Uh, Google. Yeah, because we have a lot of those in Florida too. You know, they're they're everywhere. They just grow on the side of the road, and I I always think I want to stop and pick some and use them in my work. And yeah, you have two kinds. Uh, uh, you have the red one, and you right. have the green one. Right. Right. Uh, I, I will show uh, what plants we are talking about. So, uh, do you use dried uh, leaves as well as fresh? Uh, I, don't, I don't need to because uh, we have plants all, all around the year. Yeah. So there is no point to, to use dry. And uh, when you use dry, I think um, a lot of the substance, like tanning, I oh. think it's, it's still in the leaves even if they dry, but other uh, substances like uh, acids are not there anymore. Mm. Thank it's, you. Uh, yeah. Did you uh, mean this one, Suzanne? Yeah, they're just the ornamental grasses and then they have the plumes that come up off of them. Yeah. yeah. yeah that's them. And then they sometimes are pink. Yes, so you have, you have different, uh, you have this, this one. Yeah. Which is yes. the more, and the, the green one. Right. And those I'm are playing like everywhere. Is yeah, that like pompous a pompous grass. grass? Yes, pompous grass. It's called the penistenum. Penisetum. I, I know the word in, uh, in Hebrew, we have a different uh, name for, for plants, but the botanical name is penisetum. Saturn. Yeah, I see it up on the thing. Just looking at the where you got the picture from and seeing all the plants is that a kind of a how your library is going to be presented with all pictures like that? My library? Yeah. Do you have it all in pictures like that form, like you just showed us, and they'll be in your video? Uh, you will see the the the. the the, the print samples and the plant nearby, not a picture of the plant. Okay, that's good. I'm, that to me is, is very helpful because, you know, it helps to see a plant and then be able to identify it. Um, so does anybody else have any questions? Oh, I see Wendy Cotter and Ronnie. So Wendy, do you have a question? Yes, good morning, Eric. I was wondering mm -hmm. if you ever come to Canada to do classes or have you ever considered that? Uh, for, I, I taught a few times in Canada, okay. but uh, in uh, 2020, I suppose to, you see uh, Sarah here in the corner, uh, she was supposed to host me. Uh, in Toronto. 
Oh. But because of the COVID, we, we cancel it. So uh, we hope that as uh, soon as it will be possible, uh, we will make the plants uh, again. Oh, Toronto would be perfect for us. <laughs> yes, okay. you, you two need to be in contact. Yes, so you said her name is Sarah. I'm gonna switch over to gallery view so I can see who she is. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, Ronnie? You're muted. You're unmute. Okay. Now, can you hear me now? Yes. Okay, so I'm actually Sarah. Uh, <laughs> it's written Ronnie, but it is Sarah. So Wendy, uh, make note. We can we can talk. And yes, I, I was lucky enough to uh, to travel to Israel and take your eats um, <clears throat> workshop last March, just before the world closed, and. Um, uh, the eve of the third uh, <laughs> sorry, elections in Israel. Uh, but anyhow, I, uh, I had an incredible year uh, using Irit's um, methods and uh, all I've learned, all I learned from her, uh, from her incredible workshop. And the one thing I actually, aside from the technical things that I've learned from her and I remember her saying is experiment, 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 and make mistakes. You will learn from them. And uh, sometimes your mistakes will, will become what you hang on to, you know? And I know that she knows that from her experience. So those are the two things I've actually done this year. And uh, because, uh, yes, and, and of course, we will host you, Irit. There's no question, except that now we are in our almost fourth um, lockdown, uh, which is incredible. I haven't been anywhere except here, which is nice enough. But um, so that's what I wanted to say is that I've learned those two things and hold on to them. And I've had incredible uh, results and still need to experiment more. So when you and I should talk, I don't know how we're going to do that. <laughs> But uh, look me up, Sarah Fradkin. I don't know what else to say. Is, is it S-A-R-A-H or S-A-R-A? Oh, no H. And my last name is F-R-A, F as in Fradkin, R-A-D-K-I-N. D-K-I-N. Okay, thank F you. I'll find and you. I will look you up and, and we'll have it because I have the premises to have you read over. We just don't have the right uh, conditions now with COVID. Yes, 100. Yeah. yeah, absolutely. I'm in Kitchener. Oh, good. Okay. That's, well, close Not enough. Not too far. Not too I'm far. And I wanted to say to you, Toda al kol mashe limatoti. Mamash. Okay. Sure. Thanks. Uh, if, uh, yeah. Is there any more questions? Uh, um, if, if, not, if, uh, if you like, if, I can. I don't know if you saw it or not, but can I can show you another video? Sure. <laughs> yes. You sure. want? Yes. Yeah. yeah. Sure. It's a. It's a. The promo of my previous class. It's a little bit longer than this. The, what you. Uh, just so, but uh, we can, uh, I can show it uh, also and then we say goodbye. <laughs> The world of botanical print never ceases to amaze and surprise me on my journey teaching students all over the world. Following the challenging period we live in, I opened another way of sharing my knowledge and experience with anyone who wants to enter and evolve in botanical printing textile. I created a very clear and accessible video course where I present my latest artistic technique, 
Monochromatik, Botanical Printing. Und natürlich... Diese Tonia Pippen, hast du gefeliciert, bist du die Trauder? Vielleicht ich ja schon, was ein Zeit. Du kannst schon in viel feine Zeit. Viel feine Zeit. Ich kann schon in eine viel feine Zeit. Es war wichtig für mich, um eine Lernung zu kreieren. Ich kann schon in eine viel feine Zeit. Ich wünsche euch noch viel Zeit zusammen und hoffe, dass wir wieder schnell und aufhören können mit anderen OT-Dames für den Lunch bei mir. We detailed demonstrations of the creative processes so we will be able to achieve and enjoy beautiful results at a high artistic level. I invite you to join the workshop and be part of a working group with participants from all over the world. Wow, well, that was wonderful. Um, We will have another one for the next class, like in this uh, very soon. So I've got just a, three more questions and then we'll sign off. I see. Okay, um, I, I can stay, no problem. Eleanor <laughs> and Wendy and Linda. So Eleanor, do you want to start? Yeah, thank you so much. I, I just heard you mention of putting your plants in a freezer. And I live in the north where we don't have anything in the winter and there's nothing I can do. So how does, uh, do they come out? To, how do they come out after you uh, bring them out of the freezer? Thanks. And I, I don't have a lot of experience, not with dry leaves and not with plants that I store in the freezer because I, I live in an evergreen country, but from what I and I know, I think the freezer is much better than the dry uh, drying leaves. But really, it's I'm I'm a it's a it's a little bit um, I'm not totally uh, experienced with this. We don't have we we have a very difficult summer. But still, there is a plant to work with, and we don't have a very uh, extreme winter. So I understand, the, but I have to be honest, I don't have a lot of experience with not to have fresh uh, leaves. Thank you. You're welcome. Linda? I think my question's been answered. Thank you. Okay, uh, Debbie. Hi, um, I was wondering about not just leaves, but where I am, I have lots of orchid and plumeria blossoms and bleeding hearts and not just leaves, but, uh, and pines and palms and such. But how would the, the flowers do, the, the flower petals? Uh, it depends on the flowers. Some flowers print beautiful and they give very nice colors. Some flowers print only the inside. You just need to try. And uh, if you use the uh, blankets uh, so you can get shape from everything even if it's, they don't print anything so it's all about uh, trying and see make samples and then you know thank you sample 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 Wait, yeah. do you have another question Sorry, I didn't uh, lower my hand. I forgot okay. I had to. Okay. So I think if nobody else has any questions, we'll let Eric go and everybody can get on with their Sunday. Um, I really appreciate you taking time, Marie, to sit with us. I know everybody's been really glad to see you. 
And um, hopefully we'll see you again very soon. Um, could, I, we'll... could, I, could I just ask very quickly from Irit, please? Is your class um, like a limited access or do you offer lifetime access? And are they videos or is it live workshop? Sorry. It's uh, unlimited. Uh, it's, it's, a, it's a video. Thank you. There is no, there is no uh, limited and uh, it's a self pace and um, and you have a lifetime access and we have a group of uh, in a, if you want, you can get in with, whenever. Yeah, it's a production. It's very well done. It, it is just an exquisite video. It's very clear to see. They did a wonderful job putting it together. Um, I just wish I had someone who could put something together like that for me here. You can take it down. Uh, you can uh, <laughs> I will, I will uh, put it on the plan and you can do for you. Uh, right. Um, but anyway, um, I really appreciate this, Yuri, and I hope I can see you again real soon. And uh, I just wish you good luck and everybody else um, have happy printing. Um, I will be making a little video of this for somebody who wants to see it again. And um, I'll post it on my website, or I mean on my Facebook page so that you can see it. Um, with that, have a great day, and it was great seeing everybody. Yeah, thank you. I really miss you. I want to see you again soon. <laughs> thank you, everybody. Thank Bye -bye. you. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Bye.